Number Sorry, four, PR 21CC-694. Resolution authorizing the Honorable City Mayor Maria Josefina G. Belmonte to enter into a memorandum of agreement with qualified small businesses for the provision of a stimulus pack package intended to ensure continuous uh, employment and business continuity of enterprises greatly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Introduced by Councillors Frances Pumarin and Mikey F. Belmonte. Councillor Pumarin, very nice. Yes, Mr. President, Officer, I move that uh, we approve PR 21CC-694. In no objection, we now go to discussion. Yes, um, thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Um, this um, resolution actually has been discussed uh, thoroughly in the uh, Committee on Laws. In fact, um, we had to defer it the uh, first time it was presented to us. I presented to them because I'm mm -hmm. one of the proponents, and it's been um, duly um, uh, discussed, informed the body during the last uh, committee <coughs> hearing that this um, stimulus package will be granting it to uh, businesses that we feel can, um, can still survive. We can help them. In fact, uh, Mr. Presiding Officer, um, I don't know if you're aware of it, um, uh, Makati made the uh, pattern their stimulus package just like us, but since Aten, it's, it's a uh, bigger amount. And um, yung sa Makati, if I'm not mistaken, between 10 to 100,000. Anyway, uh, there were certain uh, guidelines that were presented who will uh, qualify to get the uh, particular um, uh, stimulus package. Um, siguro, many will wonder how come ito lang ang pumasa dahil may guidelines po tayo. Uh, kagaya po nga sinabi natin, uh, one of the um, guidelines, yung important is submission of yung talagang uh, tax declaration nila, how much are they paying uh, here sa business permit natin. Mm -hmm. So, yun pong pinaka-importante po, Mr. Presiding Officer. And of course, uh, one of the guidelines also that there should be at least 30% uh, of their um, uh, employees are, they're from Quezon City. And meron din po tayong binago din doon yung uh, uh, kung medyo less than 30% employees nila, as long as we feel that their uh, particular uh, business will really survive, it's just because uh, of this pandemic, uh, magkakaroon po tayo ng multiplier effect po dito, Mr. Presiding Officer. So, siguro, kagaya po na sinabi natin dito, may mga businesses na they're, yet, they're not yet open, but um, once they open, for sure it will benefit yung um, the business itself and also Quezon City. Important naman po today is um, with the um, establishments, they'll try to uh, make sure that the employees uh, will still be there when the time comes that they're open, that, that they're operational. So this is the, um, uh, the advantage of us giving this uh, uh, stimulus package. This is one of the um, uh, econ economic recovery plans po of, of our city mayor. Thank you very much, Councillor Pomarin. And um, there are ongoing process or the applications are already closed? Uh, may, meron po tayong second batch po, uh, Mr. Presiding Officer. Kasi po, nagiging tedious po yung pagpaprocess po nito. Eh. Hindi naman po basta uh, parang bibigay lang natin. They have to pass the uh, requirements and we have to make sure talagang uh, tama yung pinagbibigyan po natin. Nice, Coach. For clarification lang, Coach, um, itong resolution na to is only for those that already qualified yes, yes. to receive the uh, no, yes. stimulus yes. package. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Minister, if I may. Okay. Uh, Councillor Banal is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Presiding Officer. I noted during the discussion during the Committee on Laws meeting that uh, there could have been more applicants. Now, uh, can we have a more aggressive campaign so that we can pick out, I mean, more qualified applicants and we can have a more productive stimulus package? Um, Mr. Presiding Officer, if I may. Yes, please. 
Actually, um, naging aggressive po tayo dito. It was posted sa website. It was posted sa mga newspapers. But um, I, um, I'm not sure if I have to say it. But the sad reality of this one, uh, Honorable uh, Banal, kaya limited po yung medyo ibang nag-apply because one of the requirements, they have to present yung tamang ano, documents nila. Uh, yung iba, hindi tama yung deklarasyon nila ng kita, hindi tama yung binabayad nila taxes. So, uh, after all these years, parang meron, they're trying to avoid it. Hindi naman sa sinasabi natin, nandadaya sila, they're just trying to avoid it or trying to save on those particular uh, aspects. But um, sad to say, uh, yung ganitong situation, yan po isa sa pinaka-importante requirements eh, is to show yung uh, taxes na binabayar mo, to show yung mga documents na talagang tama yung declare mo. Kaya yung iba siguro, um, medyo, uh, how do I put it, medyo worry sila to present it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tito George is fully supportive of this measure. Uh, napansin ko lang na talagang yung iba ayaw mag-present ng uh, kanilang mga <laughs> documents, etc. This is a good picture. Sana na lang, there will be more applicants so we can have uh, a better choice of uh, uh, whom to give the stimulus package uh, for. Pero I'm fully supportive of this. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, Mr. Chairman, if I may. Um, yes, please. Thank you, Councillor Banal. Um, in fact, uh, magkakaroon po tayo ulit ng second batch just to make sure na talagang ma malaman ng mga tao. Um, I don't know if you can recall, uh, we passed this uh, stimulus package. Uh, we allocated uh, 500 million for this stimulus package. So, important right now for the second batch, uh, they can apply online, they can see the uh, LEPO, at least uh, they can pursue if they want to apply talaga. Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair. Judge Thank you, Councillor Judge Bernal. Councillor... Uh, uh, Vice Mayor. Okay, Councillor John Ferrer. Thank you very Mayor. much, uh, Honorable Vice Mayor. Uh, I congratulate the Honorable uh, Majority Floor Leader for coming up with a stimulus package for the benefit of our small businesses. Congratulations, uh, Majority floor leader. Uh, second, despite my uh, the, despite my incoming observation, I would like to inform the body that in this particular resolution, I interpose no objection. Yung po yung importante. But I'll just put up some observation based on the technical, political, and financial aspect. Alam naman po natin, yung technical, it's important that we maximize the quality of project implementation and we have to support administration management and policy development. Thanks to the birthday celebrant, Perry Dominguez, for coming up with these uh, policy guidelines na naging basihan ng ating uh, resolution of a stimulus package. Sa side po ng political, I was just thinking, uh, out of 165, ang atin pong small businesses, mga 11,000, that's only about 1.5% of the 11,000 small businesses. Sana, we can come up with uh, uh, a different matrix para mas marami ang makinabang, uh, hindi po yung uh, round figure yung ating uh, uh, distribution. And finally, yung pang financial natin, I was even thinking, kung gusto po natin na magbigay ng uh, 500 million as a stimulus package, why don't we come up with a tax holiday sa lahat ng small businesses? We can exempt them from the payment of business taxes come year 2021. Uubos lang tayo dyan ng mga 1 billion. Eh dito po, we'll uh, come up with a 500 million package. So naisip lang po natin, Yung uh, tax holiday that will involve about 11,000 businesses for the year 2021, eh, dito po about 165. However, still napakaganda po ng inyong uh, proposal. Ang akin lang po, uh, as Chairman of the Committee on Ways and Means, I have to consider the three aspects. One, technical, political, and financial. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. Mr. Resigning Officer. 
Yes, uh, Councillor Bumarin. Yes, um, ako ay uh, natutuwa sa uh, minungkahi ng aking um, idolo, si Councillor Jun Ferrer, na sana paglaki ko maging parang si Jun Ferrer din po ako. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Uh, Lodi, Lodi. Uh, uh, Lodi. So anyway, yung, 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 yung three things na si, sinabi po niya, no? uh, unang-una, uh, gagawin po natin yung sa panibagong... Um, yung sa second batch, i-consider po natin yun. Yung sinasabi po natin na part ng matrix, yung sa computation and everything. Ang, ang isa lang na pwede natin na nakikita ko na sinabi ng ating uh, idol, yung tungkol po doon sa tax holiday. Na kung ang, ang, ang computation natin is uh, 1 million yung uh, mawawala lang. 1 million. Okay. Kung 1 million lang yung mawawala at hindi natin magagamit yung buong 500 million, Ah, 1B. Ah, kung 1B, uh, 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 medyo mahirap yun. Um, we should try to understand pag yung ganong kalaki, we cannot afford to give a tax holiday. As we all know, um, we're already um, struggling to come out with our budget for next year. Uh, it's because that um, marami pong uh, negosyo nagsarado dito sa atin. At uh, unang-una, we should understand yung mga real estate taxes natin Ang bayaran niyan, it will take some time. Hindi natin makukolekta kagad dyan. But um, anyway, we will still try to consider that. Um, who knows, in the next um, couple of months, uh, if there's going to be a uh, uh, God willing, sudden change of events, na mababago po ang, ang senaryo natin ngayon, I think we will consider every um, everything. Um, again, salamat sa ating uh, chairperson ng Ways and Means. Alam naman po natin, ang unang-unang ang unang, uh, uh, role ng ating chairman is to make sure na we stay afloat during this time of crisis. But we will consider that. In fact, uh, uh, I've already discussed with the um, uh, one who's in charge of this particular uh, project, si Mr. Perry Dominguez, the uh, birthday boy, that we will try to adjust the, um, the guidelines to make sure that we can accommodate more applicants. Councillor Donny Machas, the boss. Thank you, Mr. Vice Mayor. Uh, good afternoon. I am in support of this stimulus uh, package for the uh, small business uh, persons. Alam po ninyo, yung pong uh, pinresent sa atin ng Committee on Laws, basically, nasa mga 11 million lang eh. 11 million, uh, 11 million pesos lang. Pero ang target po natin dito sa package na to is 500 million. So there are considerations. Number one is the application. So ang gusto nga ng ating magaling na konsyal banal ay magkaroon pa ng additional information campaign. And uh, yung gusto naman ni Councilor Jun Ferrer ay uh, baka papag-isipan natin yung ibang items na hindi naman ganun kalalaki. So dito po, ang akin pong pagtayo ngayong hapon ay pagsuporta, number one. Number two, eh sana naman po, dun po sa gumawa ng mga guidelines, sa pumuno po ng ating birthday celebrant, eh huwag naman po masyadong malaki sana yung ibibigay na pera. Yung nabasa po kasi natin doon ay nasa, yung iba nasa 600, iba nasa 400, iba ay nasa 300. Tama po yung mga findings ng ating mga counselors na kung po pwede, maging pro-rate din naman. So, we're not against giving uh, stimulus package, but sana naman po eh, maging kaaya-aya at talaga namang maging uh, productive sa mga bibigyan natin, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga small business. And at the same time, mas marami po sana ang mabigyan. So, ito po ay isang uh, pag-aayuda na sana sa executive department, eh, wag naman pong... Uh, konti lang ang mabigyan ng ayuda. Padamihin po natin at siguraduhin natin na makakarating sa mga tamang businessmen ito pong ating stimulus package na ginagawa. Kaya nga po tayo ay nagpapasalamat dahil hindi lamang po tax ang uh, kailangan natin. Kailangan din po natin ng pagkalinga sa ating po mga business uh, uh, businessmen. Kanya ito pong programa na ito na nilunsad ng ating Mayor Joy Belmonte at ng ating Vice Mayor Gian Soto ay pagtulong sa atin po ang mga nasasakupan na hindi lamang sa panahon ng, uh, ng maayos eh puro tax ang inintindi, kundi ngayon naman sa panahon ng pandemya dapat naman pong tumulong ang ating pamalang lungsod at ang stimulus package na to ay sagot sa ganyan po mga programa. Ang amin lamang pong pagtingin ay sana naman po 
maparami ang dapat na mabigyan o huwag na masyadong malalaki ang maibigay doon sa mga dapat lang na bigyan ang dapat mabigyan. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Councilor Donnie Machas. Um, I think with the, also the, the proposal mentioned by Councilor June Ferrer, we can do that in a separate ordinance or different measure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, yes, uh, Mr. We are, we are in full support of this. Hindi lang dahil lang si Sir Perry. Pero we know the, the impact of um, this measure and how valuable it is. And so, um, if there are no more questions, please proceed, Councilor Pumarin. Um, yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, kagaya po ng sinabi ko, um, siguro ang dapat din pong uh, anticipating ng, sa executive branch, I don't know if it's still going to be the same department of uh, Mr. Perry Dominguez, um, because at the ratings are going, I don't think um, magagamit po natin yung 500 million. So mm -hmm. siguro with that, we should anticipate it just in case na hindi magamit, ano ang pwedeng gamitan yung ibang yun sa ibang way na pwedeng tumulong dito sa atin. So, um, this is a very, um, I think, we will be the first in the Philippines to do such thing. It's not a loan. Uh, it's more of a grant. Uh, it's not totally a dole out. This is one way of trying to make sure that the um, establishments here will survive. Hindi po tayo magano. Ito isang one way of parang sinasabi nga nila na why are we going to give fish when we can give naman yung uh, fishing net? for them to stay afloat. Anyway, um, Mr. Chairman, I guess uh, it's been thoroughly discussed. Um, it, it was tackled uh, twice in the Committee on Laws. Uh, we had a uh, lengthy uh, debate with this, a lengthy and healthy uh, debate. Uh, I don't think there's any more um, um, discussion. I move to terminate the period of discussion, Mr. Chairman. Julie Second, the discussion is terminated. We now will proceed with the period of five minutes. Yes. Um, in the amendments, Mr. Chairman, I'm, I'm proud to uh, include, honored to include all the councillors here to be part of this uh, landmark legislation. Um, so if everybody will agree, I want them to be part of this uh, piece of uh, legislation. And then... Um, amendments approved. Yes, and in the uh, amendments, I will uh, submit the amended version complete uh, with... with the amendments complete with all the uh, establishments and the names of nature and everything uh, to the city sec, Mr. Chairman. Amendments carried. Yes, um, I move to terminate the period of amendments. Amendments uh, terminated. Uh, Councillor Pumarin, do we have to terminate the, I mean, Suspend the rules? Yes, yes. Uh, I was about to say that, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, no problem. Yes, uh, uh, probably because there's another um, urgent measure here by the executive. Probably if we suspend the rules, uh, it's in the, I, I think in the addendum, we can uh, suspend it and approve it. No later problem. On. Yes, thank you. I move for the approval under second reading, uh, PR 21 CC dash. 694. Do you know Jackson BR21CC-694 is approved in second reading? 